So let's figure this out. Can our theoretical candidate in our theoretical party raise real mounds of money? They need mounds and mounds of cash. Can they support marijuana and close the border and support dreamers and still get money from the right and left? Tall order, right? I asked the man who would know. Brad Wilson is a fundraiser here in D.C. who usually raises money for the GOP, but he knows all sides of the issues and this strategy. Let's say somebody is pro-gun but also wants to do something about the environment. Those are two hot button issues. Could they raise money from the same people? There is certain networks that you could go. Uh, you're seeing a younger generation that has, maybe from the South, that has traditional values and supports that, but they're also realistic to what's happening around the world. Uh, it is a tough area to find common ground, though, on both of those themes. So uh, your niche market, it, there's not one. That's the problem. There's not one. So you're looking for individuals whenever you need a entire base of, of a fundraising base for uh -huh. that. So there, that doesn't exist yet. It's evolving and it's getting better, but it doesn't exist yet. When you're talking about firepower here, you need big ticket donors. Um, older, richer people have that money. Correct. Established people young people more likely to go with someone like a third party aren't quite as wealthy. They don't have that uh, money that they can play with, that dispensable income. What do you do with that? That is where you have to really tap into the, um, I guess, the social media aspect of it and try to raise uh, small amounts, small dollar amounts in large quantities. Uh, and that's tough to do. You can get the five and tens, but um, there are people out there. We're seeing stuff, uh, the media moguls, the tech uh, social network entrepreneurs that have done very well at a young age, and they do care about more moderate issues than the traditional, um, you know, old Republican donor. But uh, they are fewer and far between, and so finding those whales is tough. Who do you see as the most attractive to a donor? Because you know donors. Someone like a, a Bernie mm -hmm. or someone like a Kasich. <laughs> probably a Kasich. Because okay. Bernie, uh, someone like a Bernie, is probably going to be a little too far to the right, or excuse me, to the left for a lot of people out there. No matter what, no matter if you're a Democrat and support a lot of the things that he does, he's probably going to be a little too extreme. He's, and we're seeing both sides of the party. Republicans are too far to the right, Democrats too far to the left over there. So trying to find that middle ground is, is where you need it. Seems like the 501c4 mm -hmm. route would be the most viable route because you can get unlimited donations. You talk about issues and you could attract someone into the issue that you're talking about with your group which just happens to align with one candidate. I think you, ha you have to fi find broad issues that they can all agree on. Uh, when you start getting to one issue of, such as guns or climate, you're going to automatically alienate uh, you know, a huge portion of your, of your donor base out there. Do we still live in the era of Winocrats who give to everybody uh, because they know it's going to help them in the long run? Or are we seeing donors start to fragment more and more party-wise? You're, you're starting to see them fragment more and more uh, party-wise. Unfortunately, that is the case. Uh, we're still a two-party system, and people are going to go to that, and they're going to spend money against the other side as much as they're going to contribute to the side that they're for. So you're seeing a lot of stuff on that. Um, you know, the, the major people that can come in, there was a recent controversial uh, Supreme Court decision that allows, you know, unlimited funds out mm -hmm. there for it. So that's dangerous because you're fighting against somebody, not actually in to be for somebody. So mm -hmm. that's uh, where you're seeing a lot of these mega, mega wealthy donors that can, you know, tip an election one way or the other. So you've got to be careful about that.